to Susan's Nursery. I'm so glad you guys decided to pop in and spend your time with us. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so very glad to have you. And if you are a older subscriber and you're staying with this with my channel, welcome. You are so very much welcomed as well. So, today we have little Miss Hannah. And she is the Tessa Awake Kit by Bountiful Baby, and I got her in a trade, so I don't know exactly who her, um, artist or anything is, um, but she has painted hair, and she's very beautiful, and, um, we're going to get her dressed. I was wanting to dress all my girls, I got most of my girls dressed in pink for Valentine's Day, but her dress has some black on it, and um, I've got another one that had red and pink on. So, I want to get my girls dressed in pink because I need an updated picture of my girls so I can get them all in um, pink. And then I want to do an updated picture of my boys a group of all the newborn boys and then um, I only got three taller boys as of now and um, I'll get my toddler girls together and get them dressed and get a picture um, but I did want to get everybody dressed in pink so I could take a picture so that's what we're gonna do so um, I know she's in pink but I don't want the black in the picture um, I know, guys, I'm kind of picky when it comes to clothes and pictures and stuff like that. <laughs> um, anyway, we're going to put her in this little baby pink. Uh, it's like a onesie dress. And it has um, the top of it. It's sleeveless. And it has um, roses like 3D roses on the top of the dress. And then it has a big um, rose right here that's opened up at the middle, like at the stomach. And then from the stomach down, it's just little layers for the skirt. And then there is the bottom of the little onesie. Um, and it's a pale pink. And the skirt part is a little bit, uh, it's a little darker pinker than the actual um cloth on the onesie bottom so we're gonna leave this bow on her we're gonna put it back on her and then we're gonna put her on these little pink socks with the little white um lace on them and while i do that i have a tag um i have some tag questions by a uh, little water waddle <laughs> little waddle nursery and the tag question title is my doll collecting style so we're going to do those questions while i change her so um i'm just going to change her uh dress her down guys so the first question is um what types of what types of dolls do you enjoy collecting um okay I, I guess it would be um more um i'm just gonna turn her on her side sorry you guys can't see her but her her dress is um buttoned up and tied and everything she's just in there <laughs> so um I guess that's a hard one, guys, because it just depends on what the baby looks like. Like I like to, and I like to, and I enjoy um, collecting different kinds of dolls, just not uh, reborns. 
but I guess Reborns would be more of my favorite because uh, they look more, um, or they can look more realistic, we'll say that. Um, and um, so Reborns would probably be my favorite to collect but I do like to collect other dolls it just depends on what they look like guys um because I love I absolutely love my little Behringer baby but I don't think I would um have liked her if I bought her from the factory and she was factory painted as much as I do her being reborn um I guess we'll have to take that little onesie off of her too because she You'll be able to see that. And I don't want that in the picture either. So. Um, it just depends. On how realistic they look. Or if they're cute. Now like. Um, I like to collect. Sometimes I like to collect. The. Um, Paradise Gallery Babies. Um, but they don't always look. As realistic. Um, as like your reborns do, um, and I like to get some of Ashton Drake's babies, but I don't know, guys. Um, the only one that I've actually been really happy with has been um, uh, Louisa. She's my Kara, but I named her Kara, but her Ashton Drake name is, um, Louisa. Um, I don't care for their body shapes and their armatures. They got beautiful faces, some of them do, but I just don't care for some of their features, like our well, not features, but, yeah, features like their short body and um, their armatures and some of them that I got that had the chest plates. Um, they scared me because they wouldn't really, some of them wouldn't really tie down very well. And I thought, well, what if it comes off? What am I going to do? You know, and after that, uh, oops, what have we done here? After that year of, that year policy, I mean, you're on your own <laughs> with Ashton Drake. So, um, yeah, I just, uh, it just depends on how realistic they look. Um, because I have had different kinds of dolls, but... I'm kind of particular about, um, what they look like, guys. <laughs> Sorry. That's just how I like to collect. I'm kind of, um, kind of particular about the way they look. Um, number two, which best describes your doll collecting style? So, she's got a few things on here. A collecting doll for art purposes. Uh, not really. I mean, I know they're a work of art. I know they're art, but I don't see them as art. I see them as babies. I know they're art. But, you know, just as collecting, collecting them for a piece of art, that's not how I collect them. I collect them for... Babies. <laughs> I mean, I know there are, but that's not how I see them or perceive them. Um, I interact with my babies quite a bit. So, um, they're not just an art piece to me. Um, collecting different types of sculpts by the same artist. Um, I do like to do that. I do have a favorite artist. And, um... I do like to get my sculpts um, that I really want from her that I can't find that somebody else is reborn that I like on reborn.com. Um, I do like to do that. 
um, collecting a complete series of dolls. Um, no, I don't, I haven't done, I've done that one time. Uh, I don't even know if you guys remember. Let me put her stuff on, then we'll talk. I don't, I don't guess I can talk and, and put on. <laughs> um, I did that one time. Uh, when I first started with, um, toddler dolls, not the, uh, well, I first started when I got those, um, MPK dolls. They were from Amazon. They weren't a sculpt or anything. They was just like a, a doll. Um, or it wasn't like a replica sculpt or anything. They were just one of those little dolls that you could buy. Um, they had like long hair and they came with those little outfits. And I had two of those and I sent them back because I didn't really care for them. But um, when I first started doing Toddler Tuesday, I actually ordered or found some older like 2013 um, Adora dolls that were a collection. I looked up and found two of them. I found, um, the one, uh, she, I, th I believe I named her Hannah, but they were the Joy series from Adora, and they were back in 2013, and, um, I had, there was a black-headed one that had a purple outfit, a blonde headed one that had a pink outfit. And then there was an African American one that had a, a green outfit. And I had um, the purple one. The black headed baby with the purple outfit. And the blonde baby with the pink outfit. But I never could find um, the little African American baby. I looked for her. And now she's on sale on... Um, <laughs> Macari and I sold my other two, so that's the only time I did like a collecting like thing, other than having um the Joseph Asleep and Joseph Awake kit. That's uh, yeah, that's all. And then I did have two, um, I have had two, um, I don't know if that would be considered a collection, but I did have two um, replicas of the Maddie kit from, um, yeah, two um, replicas of the Maddie kit, and I sold one. So, okay, let's see. Collecting dolls because their beauty appeals to you. Um... Yeah, I guess you would say, um, I probably collect them, which ones I choose because of the facial expressions of the sculpts. Like if I'm doing a custom, I want the face to look a certain way. I don't like some, some faces. Um, and then if I'm looking at a painted doll. I, um, I know you guys noticed that I have kind of a, <laughs> I have kind of, um, a pattern of, like, the lighter skinned babies, the, um, what are they called, is it strawberry and cream, or peach and cream, or whatever it is, I like the lighter type babies, um, I do have some darker babies, like my, um, Three month Joseph awake, he's darker. Um, and my Colton, he's darker, and Reese is darker. Um, and then of course, um, I have um uh, a little AA baby, she's darker, and then I have um uh Sue Lynn from um Paradise Galleries, and she is an Asian baby, and then I have, um, 
Kenzu, I think that's how you say his name. And he's an Asian baby. So, um, but I do f prefer, like, a lighter type skin like she is. Like the peaches or cream or the strawberry and cream. That's what I prefer. That's what I look for. Um, uh, as far as, um, some hair, um, I like both. I like draw, I like the painted hair and the rooted hair. Rooted hair is probably my favorite, but I do like the painted hair as well. But, um, it just depends on the face of the sculpt and the paint. I don't like a lot of dark paint. I know that might be some people's, um, you know, style. But I like, um, like a lighter type paint. Um, that makes them look a little, and I like for them to look realistic. Um, you know. Uh, sitting in the floor and people say I can just almost see them fixing to breathe. That's how I like them. <laughs> so, um, anyway, let's see what the rest of it is. I get caught up in one. Um, collecting dolls within a budget. Um, yes, I collect dolls within a budget. But, um, I do look and see my style. I just don't buy any more. I used to when I first started. If I seen a baby and I liked it or thought I liked it or, I don't know. It was kind of impulse buying when I first started. You know, you just bought a baby that you could afford. And then you realize, well, this ain't really my style. Um, now I look for a baby. Um, in my budget, that is my style. If that makes any sense. Um, col uh, collecting dolls for future value. Um, that's not really me. I'm not into, um, uh, getting the really high priced or really special or rare sculpts so you know and keep them in their box so you can sell them off and get a bunch of money that's not that's not really me i collect them i see them as babies i collect them um as a tool i first started collecting them um because um I kind of missed my boys were you know older and um they didn't you know they still need me but um I miss that nurturing that parent nurturing so kind of like a even though I don't have an empty nest because my, my youngest son still lives here um I kind of had that yearning for empty nest thing so that's how I got started, and then after I got started, I I um, realized that it relieved my um, depression because I have um, since I got COVID, I have severe depression, so I use them as tools. So um, that's really why that's really why I. Um, collect them and um if they're not like if i see a picture of them and they're not exactly what i expected when they get here then i don't interact with them so that's why i am so kind of picky about uh what i buy um and that's why um i've got i've sold a lot and you know <laughs> um then to, or change my collection so much and I think that question's in here how do you interact with your dolls um do you dress your dolls role play display them 
Okay, so I dress my dolls not only on camera, but I do dress my dolls um, pretty much um, daily. If it be on camera or not on camera, it's daily. Um, and I spend a lot, I try to spend a lot of time in here. Um, and, you know, just kind of let this hobby uh help my thinking patterns and stuff and um i do role play some uh i've only done role play on videos um but unless like my niece or somebody's here or you know Unless my niece is here and we're playing pretend, like with um, some of our Barbies or whatnot. Um, but uh, with my Reborns, I usually only do role play on camera. Um, display them, I guess. I guess they're displayed. They're put in their spots. Like certain of them sit or in my crib like my newborn girls they stay in my crib except for emily and emmy and there's not enough room for the him in there so they stay on a bobby on um a stool beside uh or in between the crib and the changing table the boys and the newborn boys are on the changing table and um my toddler boys are on one side of the room and my toddler girls are on the other side so they have they all have their spots that I put them back to when I get done um changing them or doing videos or whatnot I put them back in their spot um so I guess they're displayed if I'm not interacting with that type of, if I'm not interacting with that Pacific baby, they're kind of displayed because they're sitting in their spots. I don't know if that's what that meant or what, but <laughs> that's how I'm going to answer it. Um, do you hold on to, to your dolls for a long time or do you regularly sell them and replace them? Um, I think I've already touched on that a little bit. Um, now it depends. If I really like the baby, um, like uh, Layla, Layla's been in my um, collection since I started collecting, like the actual um, or the reborns, the authentic reborns, and because I started um, collecting the authentic factory-made Reborns, Ashton Drake's, and Paradise Galleries. And um, then I started um, only collecting um, Reborns because I fell in love with Reborns after I purchased my very first one. I purchased a used one, and um, I fell in love with her, and I decided I wanted to... Um, just collect Reborns. That didn't last very long. But anyway. <laughs> um, so, um, I've had her ever since then. And that was probably... See, I started in November collecting... And was it 2020? November of 2020, maybe, that I started. And um, I've had her since March or March or April of 2020. I've had Layla that long. Um, yeah, if it's somebody that I actually, uh, that I like, that, um, that they look realistic, and, um, 
they're for my they are my forever babies like most of the ones that I have now are probably not going anywhere um yeah most of the ones that I have now are not going anywhere they're in their forever homes uh their forever home um but <laughs> As you guys know, if you've been with me for a while, I do sell quite a bit. Um, I don't always replace baby per baby. Um, but I do replace some with, um, when I sell that baby, I do replace some of the babies from the sales. Sometimes I'll get clothes. Um, just depends on, you know, how much space I got because my nursery is small. So, um, and it's pretty much packed right now. Um, so, so I do, um, if I like the Reborn, I'll hold on to them. If not, then, um, I'll try to bond with them. And if I can't, and I just don't interact with them, then I will, you know, sell them. Um, and then sometimes I'll replace them with different babies, or sometimes I'll, I'll just get new clothes. Um, what types of dolls do you not have in your collection that you aspire one day to own? Well, um, I don't know if it, it wouldn't be a certain type of doll. I would love, love to have a little silicone, like a real silicone. I've had the, um, um, uh, like the cheaper ones i'm talking about the ones that are not saying anything bad if you have one like that but i would like to have um a silicone like uh one that um is actually um painted by an artist instead of factory painted i would like to have one of those but it's they're out of my budget and two, um, I think the vinyl babies are more for me because, um, I mean, don't get me wrong. This room is heated and cooled, so they're not any, you know, they're not in any danger, but there is those times because, um, since I've had COVID, I have, um, these episodes um, of my major depressive disorder where I am disinterested in everything. And sometimes I won't come in this when those episodes happen. Sometimes I won't come in this room and for weeks. So, um, the vinyl, you know, as long as I got them comfortable and as long as I, you know, you know, come back in here and dust them and clean them up, they're fine. I don't know how a silicone would, um, do, because they have to be, you know, regularly, um, I guess powdered or what. I don't know. I've never had one. I've just had the, um, the factory made, um, silicones. I guess that's what you call them. Um, and I never left them very long in here by themselves. Um, but, um, yeah, a silicone. And I would love, I would absolutely love to have a authentic Susu. I would love to have her. And a, um, authentic Cuxley. That would be, um, two babies that I would, um, aspire to have. 
along with a, you know, not a big silicone, but maybe like a smaller one, like a preemie size uh, silicone that was, um, uh, like artist, uh, painted with rooted hair, um, that was kind of the softer kind of, um, silicone but like I said that's kind of out of my budget plus you know I don't know <laughs> I don't know how I would you know do with the episodes that I have so um I hope I didn't um ramble on guys Hope I didn't ramble on about the answers, but I do have Miss Hannah is all dressed, and we are going to get her back in the crib, and we are going to get that other um, baby changed. It's it's Luna Sky. We just I just put her in the uh little St. Patrick's Day outfit. But I'm going to put her in this um, pink dress because she was in a red and pink outfit for um, Valentine's Day. But I'm going to put her in a pink dress as well so we can get that um, picture done. And then I'll probably put uh, Luna Sky back in her um, St. Patrick's Day outfit. So um, I'm going to go... And get that picture and I may put it up on a short um, of all my girls um, so I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful night and I hope this video ain't too long um, so you guys um, have a wonderful night and we will see you next time guys bye for now